This okay. is the Cinnamon Roll Podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about uh, it. We're, we're missing Reagan. She, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, she has COVID. Or pre- presumably has COVID. We don't know. Um, she might be fine. But yeah. most likely she'll be fine. And so it's just us three today. The boys. The boys. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely the weirdest boy here. <laughs> I'm the blackest. I'm the weirdest and the whitest. <laughs> All right, so first off on our discussion is Jovian. Can you find a bear? Mm, probably not. What about like a baby bear? Even a baby bear is pretty strong. A 10 month old baby bear. Okay, what about a 10 like month? A, yeah, no. <laughs> like a, fr- a fresh newborn bear. I think anyone can that anything somehow newborn. get that chance to fight. Um. It's wet. It's so. not even gonna like <laughs> yeah. move. <laughs> it's, it's not even gonna move. It's still like in like the peninsula stack or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, that but, makes uh, that makes sense. Um, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Nothing. <laughs> nothing either. I mean, I don't think we can do much. Yeah. Probably just chill with some family. Like maybe most likely my sister. Um, she usually comes around this time and hangs out. I'm so. sitting in my closet and play video games. Again. Yeah, I'll probably play some sort of video game, and then that's work. Yeah, so that's mo- that's mostly about it: video games and work. Well, I bought myself an early Christmas and birthday gift. What did you get? Hey, that's that's popping. Got my uh, got a 2008. Hey, uh, uh, cool. uh, uh, he's like, cool. like engine. Ah, uh, go vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. It's, it's automatic, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only sad thing. <laughs> He's so depressed. Oh, at least automatic. then you could eat your McChicken with um. Exactly, you don't need three hands to drive anymore. anymore. Yeah, that is true. You can you can eat your McChicken with three. I need people. to get one of those like little suction cup um. Like phone phone holders? things, dude. Those are awesome. There's magnetic ones. Like it connects to your dashboard, and then yeah. you just throw your phone on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I know there's one if you put on it, like charges your phone too. Oh yeah, those that are... one's like one sixty. So it's expensive. I mean one six. I mean that's not too bad though. I mean. I don't know, like for just like a phone holder. Could be worse. Really can't. It really could. Not because they got like cheap ones, like twenty bucks. It it still could be worse. Yeah, you can get them AutoZone for pretty pretty cheap. In the zone, AutoZone. But do we even use that? Do we gotta cut that out? No, we can use the jingle. All right. <laughs> so Since we're um, talking about podcasts, you should go check our Christmas Media podcast, um, C Dash TV, on YouTube. We just plug in Christian's podcast. Christian Media Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, as well. We don't have a podcast, so we can't even. We it. will be actually having a podcast. It's here not going to be as good as ours, but it's all right. I mean, um, if I'm in it, it will, but if I'm sleeping, then no. I mean, they're just capping anyways, so don't worry about them. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what do you think about Christmas music, guys? Does that. So get on your nerves at times? No, not right now. I, I don't like listening to Christmas, Christmas music until Christmas Day. I mean, I think like... You guys are about to mess up. So we're just going to pause that real quick. Um, I felt that. I felt you, Jovian. Because if it's not just Christmas, like maybe like a few days before, yeah. then it's okay. But like, swear to God... Plus, press pause. Ain't no one want to hear your Christmas music. It's not even Christmas music. It's press pause. You're going to get us copyrighted. <laughs> All right. We only use like 10 seconds. Yeah, you, you can use about 15. seconds. I thought it was 15. Uh, thought it was 10. I thought it was 30. <laughs> oh, I seen a thing on the internet. It was like, should women in the UFC like merge with men UFC? And in the comments, it was so mixed. Like you have the females over some like, oh, I think I feel like every girl in UFC like Ronda could be anyone in a in a male UFC. Anyone is like sending like memes because it's on Twitter, and they're just like sending like meme reactions. It was so funny, and it was like any female UFC person can beat Conor McGregor. And I'm saying like, dude, what do you guys think about uh, Conor McGregor and Logan Paul? That's Floyd and Logan. Thought, yeah, I thought it was Jake Floyd. Jake Paul's had a fight called. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was it's Floyd. N- there's not a knockout for the Logan and Floyd fight. There's no knockout. This is going to be a boring fight. People think that Floyd think, is going to knock out Logan. I think Logan's going to win. See, here's the thing. I don't think Logan's going to win because they're both going to have to play defensive. Floyd but Mayweather really isn't even like... 
He's good, but like he's not much he's of a knockout old. fighter. It's not even that he's old. It's just he doesn't really need this fight. It's just for money. Like and like with the fight, he's just gonna shoulder roll. Like, I'm more I'm more interested about the McGregor fight though. Yeah, that fight's gonna be more punches thrown because yeah. they're around I, the same height. I heard height. Le'Veon Bell wants to fight Logan. If Le'Veon don't sit his running back self down, you already got thrown off the Jets, bro. Don't get thrown off the Chiefs because you want to get embarrassed. Yeah, I heard. I heard we already that. lost to the Raiders. We don't need to lose to a YouTuber, bro. It's enough embarrassment for you. Here. We're done. If he loses, we're trading him back to the Jets. I don't care. We already got our beautiful rookie running downfield. Clyde Edwards, hilarious. A god in, in cleats right there. I don't know. Tyreek is pretty Tyreke good. Tyreek is a receiver. That's a whole different position. Hey, speaking of position, I mean, Travis Kelsey changing, part, partly changing the tight end position was started by Gonzalez, but I mean, you can really see that change in the tight end with they Kelsey. Just throw Kelsey at like running back for a play. See how far he can get. <laughs> that would be interesting. Considering, you just seem like bulldoze everyone. Considering it actually is pretty hard to tackle Kelsey. Kelsey is really hard Damon to tackle. Damon Arnett, like, he made Kelsey fly, and Damon Arnett is like half the size of Kelsey. You saw that? Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Who what, what was it? It was Hardman. I think he was running, and like dude came on like punched the ball out of his hand and caused a fumble in the last game. Oh yeah, against Miami. Yeah. Yeah. I love how every like every one of our games we like like we're blowing them out, and then we just don't care until like the final quarter. It's like we'll make them catch up, and they still won't. Win. Well, we get bored. I mean, I was watching. Because like, you better score some more. Let's see if we get a hundred points. I was watching like sport um just like sports shows, and they're saying. Kansas City, they they let it just ha- get so close because it just gets so bored. I mean, there's going to be a game where we do that. And we're going to lose. We're just going to be just going to dominate everyone. I feel like we're going to make it to the. Super- I just I don't know who's going to make it. To, like I feel like we're going to make it again. I just don't know who's going to. I think gonna Miami make it. might get there. Miami. I think Steelers too. Steelers. But Steelers is on our division. We're going to beat the Steelers. I don't think you Steelers. Think so? Yeah, the Steelers got doo doo people the whole season, literally. Either someone was injured, the I mean, team you got like think COVID strike, how, or how the two teams team. have beat the Steelers. They've both been pretty physical teams. Exactly. Kansas City is not the most physical team, but it can show up when we need it. Oh God, we're just very fat. Literally, our team is just speed. That's really. I mean, we're not like the, the our Ravens. offense is speed. Yeah, like we're not like the Ravens. We have like Lamar just running everywhere. Like, I mean, did you see Mahomes being somewhat more m- mobile against Miami? We're going to ignore the 30-yard uh, touchback. Sa- sack. Yeah, but besides that, Patrick is actually a pretty fast QB. He's not like Lamar fast. He's not the fastest, but... But he's not slow like... Um, what's his Mahomes face? got sacked three times last week. Yeah, that, yeah, our line did terrible that game. Our line just keeps getting injured, but... Cause, well, how many times did he get sacked last season? Like five, six times? I think it was more than that. I think it was like Suffley or... Somewhere around 2019 10. season? Yeah, 2019. I think it was around 10. I mean, he doesn't get sacked that often, which... The Raiders have sacked him twice, and then he got sacked three times. So that's five. That's five. But, that's I mean, five. that's like... He got sacked 17 times last year. And it's like, what, five now? Yeah. Like, check current statistics. The 2020 season. So far, he's been sacked. Where is it? 2020 games. Passing, advanced passing. Which side? It's not even showing. Don't stop, make it pop. DJ blow the speakers up. Tonight on the fight. Oh, 18. This season? Yeah. Dang, he already gained. We was at 17 last season. He was at 26, 2018, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> well, that's when he just came, wasn't it? And like, we had no chemistry with him yet? I mean, yeah. That was his first year starting. Yeah. To think he almost actually got to the Super Bowl his first year starting. What's the loosen out someone's gotten sacked in the season? I'm going to say... the hundreds, dude. I want to say it's like 10 or 15. It's though. probably some... What? Like the least amount sacked in the whole season is like 10 or 15. I feel like no one's really in single digits. Unless like you have like a godly line. What is it? For like most in a single season? No, yeah. like, like least. Most of most in a single season. Yeah. 76. <laughs> and it was by um, Darren Carr. God. 
You're, yeah. David Carr. Or David, Carr. yeah, it's David. He yeah. played for the Texans. Yeah. You know how disappointing that O line. <laughs> Look up the least amount of time sacked in season. That has to be so terrible. Like just to know you got you gotten sacked the most. Imagine losing. Oh, the game Brett Favre the got sacked 525 <laughs> times in his whole career. Dang. But that's in his whole career. What's the least amount in the season? I want to say it's like 10 or 15. Like in between that. Why'd you be like four? Seven. Not too far. Who's that? 1998 Miami. 1988 Miami Dolphins. Who's the QB? In a 16 game season, it was seven. Who's on their own line? It was Dan Marino as QB, so that's. That's probably why. I mean. That makes legitimate sense. For um, why it was so. Well, I feel like it's been ten minutes already. So. All right, so we're, we're sorry sure. to cut this short, guys, but this has been the Cinnamon Roll Podcast. Again, <laughs> we miss <laughs> Reagan. <laughs> we hope you guys miss her too, and she'll be back hopefully next time. I'm Tyler Harris signing out with Alfie Dazine, <laughs> Joe Negretti, and we'll see you later.